Hi there, I'm Chris Hernandez and this is The Weekly Report, your look at news about programs and services provided by the City of Kansas City, Missouri. Have you ever heard of an ideas fair? Kansas City Mayor Sly James is inviting residents to submit ideas for innovative projects to the first ever KCMO Ideas Fair. The goal is to crowdsource best practices and exchange ideas for community development around public health, sustainability, technology, crime prevention, and arts and culture. The Ideas Fair is October 26 from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Central Library. Submit your ideas at kcmayor.org. Kansas City gets a $20 million boost to its downtown streetcar project. U.S. Secretary of Transportation Anthony Fox appeared in Kansas City alongside Congressman Emanuel Cleaver, Mayor Sly James, and other city leaders to announce the federal grant. The streetcar project aims to increase economic development while moving people around downtown more efficiently. $20 million is a lot of money. And uh, for us to get this money puts us on center stage uh, in the country because we received the largest Tiger Grant uh, of, of any community in the, in the United States. This is a big deal. You know, this is, a, as indicated, this is a starter line system. And with this commitment of federal funds, it indicates that we've gotten a better ability to extend the streetcar, both as Mayor said, north, south, east, and west, to connect and unify our entire city. Well, the streetcar project in Kansas City is going to be a two-mile stretch right in the center city. Uh, everyone's going to benefit from it because you're going to see businesses coming in and you're going to have a new mobility choice right in Kansas City. And over time, it's going to get expanded, which is going to create even more mobility choices across the city. We're very excited about it and pleased to be part of this grant. The Tiger Grant equals about 20% of the cost of the two-mile streetcar line, which should be up and running within two years. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City Parks and Recreation. September is a great time to be outdoors, and your city facilities offer a lot of activities to choose from this month. Art and music combine for a fun weekend, Friday through Sunday, September 13th to 15th along Brush Creek. Stroll the newly completed four miles of walkways while classical musicians play and artists paint landscapes and cityscapes for a juried competition. On Sunday from 3 to 8 p.m., local bands play reggae, folk, alternative, and Latin rock in Tice Park Amphitheater at Oak and 47th Streets. The concert is free. Bring lawn chairs and refreshments and enjoy. Is your family up for an adventure? If so, make plans to camp out Friday night, September 20th in Swope Park. The Parks and Recreation Department will supply basic camping equipment and organize hikes, food, music, archery, canoeing, fishing, and more. The program, called Wonders of Outdoor Wildlife, is $30 per family and limited to the first 100 people. Details are at wondersofwildlife.org or call 816-513-7657. A tennis open at Minor Park is scheduled for Friday, September 20th through Sunday, September 22nd. Each participant may compete in one singles and one doubles event. Entry fees are $14 for singles and $16 per team for doubles. To register, visit webtrack.kcmo.org. The Kansas City Rose Society will host its Wine and Roses fundraiser at Loose Park, just west of the plaza, on Thursday, September 26th, from 5.30 to 7 p.m. The gala includes live jazz and hors d'oeuvres in the Rose Garden. Tickets are $75 and must be purchased in advance at kansascityrosesociety.org. For more information about these and other events, see the Parks and Recreation website at kcparks.org or give us a call at 
Yeah. 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 You can see the there carrot. There, there aren't very many, but we left some because we wanted you to be able to see what they look like. So when you look at the beets, can you see the beets? Yeah. So look at this. Yeah. See this plant right here? Look at this flower. Look at this. These are two original pistols, 1847 fluted boot pistol, original, 1849 double barrel 41 caliber. Double barrel? Yeah. Wow. And these two are old bullet modes, that's a 36 caliber, and that's a 36. That was actually dug up down here on Little Blue. Looking ahead, everyone is invited to the Kansas City Green Fair at Islas Davis Park, just north of City Hall, on Thursday, September 19th. There will be two dozen exhibits, including farmers selling local produce and meat, plus five food trucks selling lunch. You can meet a character named Eco Elvis as he emcees an awards ceremony for the KC Green Neighborhood winners, and the day will end with a tour of the Urban Garden at 18th and Broadway. Visit 10 exhibit booths at the fair and enter a grand prize drawing. The event runs from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's free and open to the public. The park is between 10th and 11th Streets and Locust and Oak. For more information about this or any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.org. Just scroll down to the bottom right-hand corner and click on the weekly report. That does it for this edition of the weekly report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.